I'll burn these suckers till they look like a puck. Welcome back to another one. Tonight, we're going to do some barbecue. Not just barbecue. We're going to barbecue a inexpensive steak. But we're going to make it taste like a expensive steak. But first, why are we barbecuing? No other reason than we can. Again, but first, we need to have a little something. What are you all thinking? Go on up here. I haven't opened yet. We're going to try Buffalo Trace. I got to sit you all down over here. Hang on one second. All right, so you ask yourself, self, why is he doing whiskey and steak? I'm about to tell you why. Because nothing goes better with steak than a good whiskey. Anyway, this is what we got. We got Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Well, there's a lot of writing on the back of this here. Talking about the ancient past. We're not going to get into that. I'm going to try and find some notes here. My guess is because this was shipped into Canada, which is where I am. English. French. I don't speak French. All right, well, the good thing about this is I've got no notes on the back. doesn't tell me what to expect. I do can tell you this is a bourbon. It is 45% alcohol. We're about to find out real quick. <laughs> Maybe not so quick. Seriously. Seriously? Make this thing childproof. Thought it was a twist off lid. Pleasantly surprised that it is a cork. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> I almost went and smelled an empty glass. Oh boy. Y'all hear that? Ooh, that is super sweet. I can obviously t smell the uh, caramel. Caramel, 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 caramel. It's there. Let's taste a candy cane. Wow, that is fantastic. This is going with a steak. <laughs> Actually, the steak's not cooked yet. It's sitting there marinating on the counter. Might be a few of these before I get to the barbecue. But right now, i got to run outside and light the barbecue. Might as well bring this with me. See you outside. Alright, I got the chimney going out there in the barbecue. Can you see that? Smoking out there. Oh, there you go. Alright, so that's going out there on the barbecue. Have a look at these steaks. A couple of nice cuts there. They're probably about an uh, inch, inch and a quarter thick. Not an inch, a quarter. I'll give them an inch. <laughs> About an inch thick, very nice cut, nice marbling in there. Now, this one here is done in a Montreal steak spice. This one here is done in a Stubbs beef rub, both sides. They've been sitting like this for probably an hour and a half to two hours. Now, when they're just about done, I'm going to hit them with some barbecue sauce, and I got some Stubbs barbecue sauce. I'm going to keep the Stubbs all the way through just to see if there's any difference. And I'm going to put some on Jen. She's got a different type of barbecue sauce she wants some, some girly thing come on no doubt and I'm gonna pair this up with that Buffalo Trace don't think I forgot about the Buffalo Trace let's go see how the chimney's doing Ooh, wait, looks, looks like we got her coming now I won't say the rest of that my wife will kill me but uh, yeah it's just about coming I got the lid down over top just to keep some of the rain out but I'm gonna run out there and check it won't bring the camera all right guys I got the steaks on like I said, right around 300 degrees. That might be a little much, but they're not on direct heat. They're off to the side. So that's going to be one of the ways that I'm going to try and do this is, well, semi-low, but I'm going to try and cook them as slow as I can and try to get them to a nice medium, a little less than medium. She likes hers more than medium. All right, now I don't like to flip the steaks very often. I will leave it basically one side, then one flip to the other. I do go out and check it periodically. So right now I'm gonna go out and check and make sure it's not charred. We don't want charred. Mm. 
Not ready for a flip yet. Still not ready. Now there's that one. All right, those are looking pretty good. They're looking pretty good. I'll say Jen should be home any time. Hopefully I can have supper ready by the time she gets home. Not because I'm a little, you know, because that's the right thing to do. She worked today, I didn't work. It means, check it out in a second. I think I've really ever shot a video in the doorway before, but it's porn. But anyway, we got out there, uh, we got our one flip in, and now I just keep going periodically just to check it to make sure it's not getting charred on one side. Uh, temp went up a little bit. I'm trying to bring that back down as you can see a little more smoke coming out of it, but Try to keep it around 300 or less Problem is I had to put a lot of charcoal on it to get it going because it's raining on my charcoal Hello, it's what it is. We'll make it work So I got my one flip in I'm gonna go out and check it again here in a minute and uh, I might check the inside mine is gonna be done long before hers, but You know nothing is more Canadian than steak and whiskey she just informed me that when the steak is done she wants one of these things on have a look can you see that some plant-based burger that stuff does not belong on my barbecue hey ain't going on my be all right honey i'll be right there So someone noticed in my last barbecue video that I was only running one grate on my barbecue instead of two. There's a reason for that. My barbecue is not that big. So what I do is I don't want everything on direct heat. So I'll build the coals on one side. I only run one grate that allows me to keep it on the other side. If I need to, I can slide it over a little closer or I can pull it back a little more. Kind of like the Watusi two-step slide. Never mind. Anyway. All right, guys, my steak is done. I like mine just shy of medium. I mean, this thing could have just left a steamer out in the field. Jen, on the other hand, she likes hers long gone by probably 20, 25 years. Well, that's not well, well done, but she likes hers so it ain't, uh... <sighs> Never mind. Just past medium is what she's gonna get. Anyway, I gotta go out there and check them one more time, bring them inside, let them rest. I'm gonna pair them up. I'm going to pair mine up with that Buffalo Trace. Canadian. Plant-based. Ain't no plant-based garbage going on my barbecue. I'm not going to let that go. I'm sorry, I know I got spots all over the screen, or all over my lens, but this is Stubbs Barbecue Sauce. This is Sweet Baby Ray's. Were we able to make this semi-cheap steak taste like an expensive steak? We're about to find out. Ooh. There we go. Not bad at all. Mmm. That goes good together. Now we've got Stubbs Sweet and Spicy on here. Jen's got Sweet Baby Ray's on hers. On my rice. I never put anything on my rice other than Frank's Red Hot. Get the shit on everything. Alright, well we flipped these once. Only once. Now it doesn't mean I didn't check the other side. I flipped these once. And they turned out damn near perfect. Now this is a little more done than what I like. I mean barely more done than what I like. I like just a little bit of red, but... Other than that, it is fantastic. And pair it up with the Buffalo Trace. Again, this is my first time trying the Buffalo Trace. And the main thing I got from this was smooth, very little bite for 45%, and tastes like candy canes. Very sweet. 
Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. How to make a, a inexpensive steak taste expensive. Low and slow. See you on the next one. Later. Honey, sorry I burnt your plant burger things. Burn them to a crisp. Dad. They got no business being on my barbecue. You know, I no sooner put these damn things on my grill and some dude in skinny jeans come running around the corner.